disagreement? Can you head it off before they tear out a bulkhead? I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Touch me and I will smear the wall with you, bitch! Enough! Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. When you agreed to work for me, you agreed to be part of a Cerberus mission. You're both assholes. You want me to fight for you? Fine. You want anything more? Go fuck yourself. Thank you. Sorry about that. I hope she doesn't cause us more trouble than she's worth. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'd been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I wish your people had made the offer. I looked at your track record as you hunted Saren. I saw the choices you faced. You'd fit in fine here, and we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but... I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best genes money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. You always bring up your genetic tailor. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. I can't admire your body or your mind? You give your father too much credit. Yeah, he gave you gifts. But you can be proud of what you've done with them. Oh. Thank you. Perhaps I wouldn't mind if you admired my body. You wouldn't, huh? I think I could live with it. It's only fair. You've had two years to look at me. And I was wearing less than you are. Shepard, wait. I, I need to think about this. Scared, Ms. Lawson? Cautious, Commander Shepard. But interested. Very interested. For now, I should work and think. I'll talk um, to you later. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
hazard. Solar output has overwhelmed Haystrom's protective magnetosphere. Exposure to direct sunlight will damage your shields. This radiation is causing trouble for my shields. Get the hell out of the sun! This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. 
I passed a lot of dead quarians on the way in. You're the first survivors I found. Be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight drives your shields all to hell. We're bunkered down at base camp across the valley. I left Tally Zora at a secure shelter that double back to hold the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep him off you. You've got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet?
here. We head left, we can flank them. buildings are quarian. This colony predates the Geth uprising. Why would the quarians risk death by coming here? about it later. What's your status? Carl Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got the data I needed and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of Geth outside. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth and the console is damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. I see you, Shepard.
gotta be hard. To the right. Over here! Get to cover! Squad leader Kyle Rieger, Migrant Fleet Marines. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Callie's inside over there. The guests killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. The best I've been able to do is draw their attention. How many Geth are out there? The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. It huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, but one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one! I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy, maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. Good luck, Rieger. Let's go shoot some Gat. Get us alive. <laughs> Say hi to Tally for me. New victims. Here we go.
let me finish this download. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. Rieger sacrificed himself so I could get to you. Damn it. I feared as much. He gave his life for me. For the mission. A whole team of scientists and marines, and I'm the only one left. I hope the board finds the data valuable. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Come on. Let's get out of here. Cerberus saw footage of you in action, Talizora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. You don't have to like them, Tally, but we're on the same side this time. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Talizor the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. I'll be in engineering if you need me. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. You've received a new message at your private terminal. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. My female intuition says she wants to be more than just good friends. I always felt there might have been some chemistry there. There is. It's in her body language. How she turns to you when you enter the room. How she watches your every move. Corians are so fascinating to me. They also make me a little sad. Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful, but with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets, or what their skin feels like under those suits. Is there anything I should know? Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. I've got an appointment with Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, watch it. It's great to see Tali on board, Commander, just like old times. It is her, right? I mean, because with the mask, it's... Ah, never mind. I assume everything is going well up here? Quiet enough. I... What the... Trouble? No, it's nothing. I... Son of a... Very funny, Edie. Real original. Stop it. You did insist on manual control, Mr. Moreau. That's it for now. See you, Commander.
can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Gath on Haystrom, did we? I still can't believe everyone else is dead. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecured channel for that matter. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship. I know you need resources to fight the Collectors, but be careful, Shepard. I don't like working with them any more than you do, but we need them. I know. Just watch yourself. You're their best weapon right now. But as soon as you no longer serve their needs, be ready for them to turn on you. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by.